This is how to play Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. This is based on an acoustic version that I checked out, which I have linked to in the description. And this was also a song that was highly requested on my website and at guitar.co.uk. And I'm working my way through those requests right now. All the song tutorials, lesson tutorials that you request. The link is also at the top of the description. And of course, you can leave your ideas and suggestions in the comments also. Uh, the chords to this are exactly the same all the way through and they're very simple. So for very simple chords for this song, do remember that Imagine Dragons have tuned down, so you'll need to be in E flat tuning to be able to do that. And a link to how to tune your guitar to E flat tuning is just here. So the four chords are A minor, C major, G major, which I would choose, you can play G absolutely however you want in this song, but I would recommend checking out this G5 chord, uh, which is just a normal G chord, but we don't use this first finger. And what we're going to do is mute that just with the underside of the middle finger. Just a little, something a little bit different, a little bit of fun, and it still means that that third finger can stay down when we change to the D major. So all fingers lift off after the D, and we're on A minor. C major, third finger needs to move only, that's it. G, and D. Welcome to the new age, welcome to the new age. Radioactive, radioactive. The strumming pattern that I recommend is down, 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 up, down, up. Now many strumming patterns work in this song, this is just my suggestion for you guys to be able to have a, a quick jam and for it to sound really great. So that is down, 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 up, down, up per chord. My suggestion to make this easier to change between those chords is to lift off of each chord on the last up of that pattern. Down, 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 up, down, up, or at least the finger that needs to move, for example, to get to that C and be down for the next, so down on the chord for that next down strum at the start of every bar. So down, 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 up, down, lift. Notice, I could even be completely off, off of the strings. Okay, we can be completely off of those strings on that last up strum to give you time to change, but you don't need to lift off all fingers all the time because some fingers stay down between those chords. For example, on this A minor to C, the first two fingers stay down. From the G, everything has to lift off from the C to a G, but from the G to the D, and then we're, we're on this normal uh, D, so that third finger could stay down. That's our anchor finger also known as a pivot finger, because we kind of pivot between the two. When I'm on this D, the strumming pattern can change. It doesn't have to, you could keep it the same, keep it simpler. But on that D major, that's what the guys are, are doing in Imagine Dragons. They're going down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. And the strumming pattern, oh, the chord was D, D, sus4. Normal D to sus two. And with the correct down and ups. That's an extra level up, that's kind of an improver to intermediate level skill for sure. But the whole pattern in total would be. would go around for the whole song, just pausing for any stops that happen in the song, but that's the same order, same chords all the way through, nice and slow. Play along with me if you can in three, four. I did in the intro at the start of this video is hit my looper pedal there and hit 
hit it again, and that's now going to loop over for as long as I wish it to until I hit it to stop, okay? And that would give us a chance to play the lead line over it if you were just doing this on your own, uh, which was as follows. So we'll be covering that now, but we'll also cover how to play that melody too. Okay, really cool to start getting used to playing just a little bit of lead over short repetitive chord sequences such as this one. We would be at 8th fret to 10th fret on the second string and then to string one here. Okay, let's have a bit of a zoom in here. So we have 8th fret to 10th fret to 8 again. And then it's 8, 10, 10. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then slide in that little finger to the 12th fret, which is where this beautiful little F shape is here. And then back to 10 and 10. Then, exactly the same, but ending. A very bluesy ending for a pop song. Whole thing now from the top. Three, four, one. That just repeats and repeats, and we could also play the melody part, which would be at eighth fret to seventh fret to fifth fret on the second string. Radioactive, radioactive. Okay. Eight, 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 seven, 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 five, and then a very pentatonic, pentatonic style shape. Welcome to the new age. 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 Radioactive. Radioactive. That's how to play Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you check out this tutorial with a looper pedal yourself when you're trying it and jam over your own chords because that's when this really starts to come together. And of course you can have a jam along to uh, the Imagine Dragons recording that I linked to in the top of the description. Remember that's in E flat. So you would have to tune down if you want to play along to those. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.